In lesson 04, we're going to be graphing and writing equations of lines using slope-intercept form. So when you were in algebra, you should have learned slope-intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b. m stands for your slope, and b stands for your y-intercept. Remember your slope when you have a graph that tells you how steep it is. It's the steepness of a line. So it tells you how much it rises and how much it runs. In other words, my graph's going up 3, right 2, or down 3, uh, right 5. Always go to from left to right when you're looking at a graph. And your y-intercept is where it crosses the y-axis. Here we have sample slope. So if it's going up from left to right, it's positive. If it goes down from left to right, it's negative. If it's a flat horizontal line, then the slope is zero. And if it's going up and down, so a vertical line, then the slope is undefined. Here in these examples, we're gonna identify the slope and the y-intercept, then graph the line. So for question one, your slope is always the number in front of x, and your y-intercept is the number that they're either adding or subtracting. So here, for question one, my slope, or my m, is 2 thirds, and my y-intercept, or my b, is negative 1. We use m for slope because it tells you how to move. Your b, or your y-intercept, tells you where to begin. So when we graph this, we would begin at negative 1 on the y-axis, and then our slope tells us to go up two, right three. You're always going to the right. So from here, I'm gonna go up two and right three. And that'll give me this side of my graph. And then I'm gonna go back to my y-intercept and do the opposite. So the opposite would be down two, left three. And that gives me the other side of my graph. For question two, our slope is negative three, because that's the number that's in front of x, and our y-intercept is a positive two, because they're adding two. So if they're subtracting, it's negative. If they're adding, it's positive. So we're gonna begin our graph at two on the y-axis, and our slope is negative three. Anytime I have slope, I like to write it as a fraction, so I'm gonna put that over an imaginary one, since it's negative, it's telling me to go down 3, and then we go right 1. Always go to the right. So from my y-intercept, I'm going to count down 3, right 1, down 3, right 1. Then if I go back to my y-intercept, the opposite of down 3, right 1 would be up 3, left 1. For question number three, our slope is negative one-half, and our y-intercept is negative three. So I'm going to begin at negative three. And since my slope is negative one-half, I'm going to go down one, right two. So from my y-intercept, I count down one, right two, down one, right two. Then I go back to my y-intercept, and the opposite would be up one, left two, up one, left two. And that gives me the other side of my graph. The last problem here has a slope of 4 and a y-intercept of positive 1. So I'm going to begin at positive 1 on the y-axis. My slope is 4. I like to write slope as a fraction. So 4 over an imaginary 1. Since it's positive, we're going to go up 4. And then we go right 1, always to the right. So up four, right one. And then the opposite side, you would go back to your y-intercept and go down four, left one.